Okay, so this is going to be the background for sliding filament theory. Okay? <laughs> Bear in mind that this portion of the lecture will com be completely nonsensical, but the brain enjoys novelty. All right, so let's start with this. Once upon a time in a land far, far away, there were these fish eyes. And they all lived together in harmony right next to one another. And they were all connected and everybody was happy. Everything was wonderful in the land of magical fish eyes. <laughs> and everyone just enjoyed themselves. They were looking in every direction, telling each other what they saw. I see things that are up and I see things that are down and everyone's a winner. But what you may or may not know about this magical land filled with fish eyes is that there's a foe. There's an enemy that's always trying to attack them. And that is the sea of fists. See, below the fish, fish eyes here are a bunch of fists. And they just want to punch these fish in the eyes all of the time. That's all they care about. They're like real sinister and surly, and they're happy about it too, like, <laughs> okay? And there's just so many of them. There's just this sea of fists, okay? And they can attack at any time. These fists are getting terrible looking. <laughs> you know, I, they didn't start out great, you know, but... So, what were these things again at the top? Fish eyes. Fish eyes. And this was the? C. C. Of fists. Okay. Now, there's just tons of them. Tons of these fists. And all they want to do is punch the fish in the eyes. Not just in the eyes, but they want to punch them specifically in the pupil of the eye. And to make matters worse, when they punch them in the eye, they roll the fist forward. It's like, ah! Oh, it's just like nothing but pain. So what is to prevent this from happening? I'm glad you asked. <laughs> what prevents this from happening are these snowmen. They're purple, and they stand on their heads. <laughs> Extra blood flow to their head helps them to concentrate on the task of caring for these fish eyes. The problem, my dear students, is there's simply not enough snowmen to protect all of these fish eyes. So the snowmen got together at their National Snowmen Conference not only did they figure out a way to make themselves purple, not only did they figure out a way to make themselves not melt, okay, they figured out a way to reinforce and protect the fish eyes. Now, what part of the fish eyes like to get to the, they punch? They punch the pupils. Now, you see, I've only got four snowmen lined up here, and I've got a huge sea of fists and all these unprotected fish eyes. I better label these purple, upside down, snowmen okay now so they figured out something some snowmen somewhere in the world figured out through his research that the sea of fists is terrified of anything with the twizzlers brand so they got together at their conference and they figured out if we cover the fish eyes up with a twizzlers pull and peel The sea of fists doesn't want to have anything to do with it whatsoever. So what did I say this was? Twizzlers. Pull and peel. I'm sure that this is a trademark, so I'll do that there. You know, make sure that I don't break any laws. Okay. Now, all is good and right in this magical kingdom until the snowmen get distracted. And there's one thing that distracts snowmen more than anything else. And that's magical cranberries. You see, adjacent to where these folks live is this weird looking castle with all of these tunnels in it. I'll label that weird looking castle with all of these tunnels in it. Okay. 
Now, in this castle, this castle is rife with magical cranberries. <coughs> That's right, rife with, loaded with, absolutely filled with magical cranberries. And the snowmen love them. But they're kept in the castle so the snowmen don't get distracted from their job. Now, they're not just cranberries, they're what again? Magical, magical cranberries. Magical cranberries. All goes right and well in the kingdom. And the cranberries are contained in the weird looking castle with all these tunnels in it. Until lightning hits the castle. You see, when a bolt of lightning hits this castle, I'm going to struggle with this one. Well, that's not bad. Oh. Oh, oh wow. <laughs> when lightning strikes the castle, lightning hits the castle. It causes the castle to spill forth all of its magical cranberries. And when the cranberries escape, the snowmen are like, oh, cranberries! And they can't help it. The cranberries, the snowmen hold tight to the cranberries and they forget about their responsibility of what? The Protecting the fish eyes. And this Twizzler's pull and peel falls off. And the fish eyes are then exposed and then what happens? Pow! Right in the pupil. And to add insult to injury, they rock forward like that after they get punched in the pupil. And the snowmen are all like, Yay, cranberries! I love cranberries! They make up some sort of terrible cranberry song. Not that the cranberry... No, wait, I said that wrong. The cranberries are a pretty decent band. Alright, so... There is one last hero, and this hero remains off the scene, but saves the day by throwing in Chinese throwing stars. That is the only thing that will get a fist out of a fish eye. You see, when these Chinese throwing stars hit the fist, the fist automatically releases. It's like, it's like, ah! Not only that, the throwing star itself has the power to put the fist back into the sea of fists. What did I say these were called again? Chinese, Chinese throwing stars. And you see, once these things get reset, the snowmen wake up, they're like, whoa, 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 I can't believe I was distracted by this. And they throw their cranberries off and they get right back to their duty. And they adjust the Twizzlers pull and peel and the cranberries go back into the castle. Until what happens again sometime? Lightning. Lightning hits the castle and it happens every time. These snowmen are forgetful. They don't remember why or when, they just love cranberries so much that every time lightning hits, boom, and this whole thing happens over and over and over again. Tune in tomorrow for me explaining this tomfoolery with sliding filament theory.